everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you my bedroom where I love spending most of my free time I have been wanting to do a video on this for so long but I kept on delaying because I felt like there was always something lacking about it but now I'm ready to show it to you guys so this is the door to my bedroom I have a bamboo thing that I made to hang my air plants but they died so I just used this to keep some dried flowers. So this is my room. I guess we should start first on this side. On this wall, I have a collage of postcards that I bought from different countries as a keepsake. I also have artworks or prints that I really like looking at. Um, down here, I have a line art that I got from Pinterest. I think this is one of the most common arts to be seen in room tours since, as you can see, it is simple but still does bring up the space. Next to it is where I store my plant supplies and tools. Like for example, my moisture meter and pruning shears. On the bottom is where I keep extra pots and water catchers. By the way, this ladder is from CT Hardware, which I use to step on if ever I need to water plants that are too high for me to reach. I like this ladder because it looked like it was made out of real wood and it is also lightweight but you can feel that it is sturdy too. Here, I just have plants. I have a lot of plants and I won't be talking about them much in detail on this video since I am planning on doing like a plant tour or plant care tips kind of video. Up there is a wood clock that is from Scent. On top of the mirror are prints that are once again from Pinterest. Huge credits to the artists. On this column is a bamboo straw mat that I got from a Japan thrift shop. It was originally laid down on the floor but I experimented a little when I was bored so I tried hanging it up since the column looked like it needed something there so yeah, it then became its perfect spot. Next to the column is a full standing mirror from Muji. I love this mirror so much. This item was the last piece in the store and it was also the display which was kind of a bummer since I noticed that it had a light scuff on the bottom edge. But, but anyways, this became the first furniture for my bedroom. This one is a tower electric fan which I don't use that much. <laughs> Let's walk here. On this side, I have a huge picture window. It may not seem the case on camera. Um, wait, let me try to tinker the brightness. But yeah, it doesn't let that much natural light come through since there is a wide canopy blocking the sun over there. So this is where I do my makeup. This table is from IKEA. I think this one is called Vitre. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's in Swedish. And I picked this one up because I needed a table that would look kind of invisible and wouldn't obstruct so much. On this makeup acrylic organizer, I have here makeups and brushes that I commonly use. And beside it is a mirror from Daiso. There's a box of tissue and more plants. On this shelf are more makeups. Under the table is a hand-woven market bag where I store my tripods. 
this is a stool that I sit on every time I'm doing my makeup and on this basket is where I put bags that I commonly grab for on a daily basis on this wall okay first off this door leads to the walk-in closet and my bathroom I want to show you guys that for it's not that interesting although i'm planning to do a makeover in that so maybe next time mm, bringing you guys closer these are dried flowers that i hanged up i love drying flowers and you'll notice that more in this video on the doorknob is a market bag that i don't use if i'm gonna be honest here I have another plant and I have more dried flowers on top of this console table. On this rattan brown tray, which is also from a thrift shop, contains an amber bottle that used to be a vitamin jar. I store my dried baby's breath in there. This one is a perfume from Scent Smith. I honestly just went in the store since it looked aesthetic. And I bought this bottle for the same reason. You can see my name printed on the date that I got it. But I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. This perfume makes me smell like an old lady, so here are accessories that I use often. My watch, a set of dangling earrings when I want it to look extra, rings, and more earrings. I know, I know, I need to store my jewelries a little bit better, but oh well. Now, this is a jewelry box that I got from Taiwan. It is a 3D puzzle and it was so much fun to assemble. Let me show you guys how to open this one. You twist it with a separate key. And there, you can see my other accessories inside. Like my other watches and jewelry. They look so disorganized. I'm sorry guys. You can also lock this one. Now you can't open it. Backing up, you can see my wall-mounted television. I used a gold sticker on the lower bezel just so that it would look a little bit nicer. Below that is my laptop and a set of keyboard and mouse that came in pink. These are the drawers. Let me warn you guys, the inside of these drawers are so messy. In the first drawer, I store my medicines and supplements. Yep, this one is not so bad. Here, I store pouches and phone cases. In the third drawer, or trash drawer, as you can see, it is a real mess. I just store my home decor supplies like jute twine, bamboo straws, extra wallpapers, broken string lights, and let's just close that one. In the last one, I store my electronic stuff like cables, camera bags, some wires, blah blah bye. Moving next is my desk. This is where I did most of my school stuff before, but now I just watch YouTube or Netflix on it. So I guess I should show you guys what's on the topmost shelf first. On this shelf are more plants and a paper bag that I bought from Shopee. 
On the second shelf, I have Totoro notebooks that my sister gave to me for my birthday. Um, on top of that is a fishy crystal. Uh, next to it is a Totoro music thingy that rotates and plays the soundtrack of my neighbor Totoro. Then I have more plants. On the lowest shelf is an origami set that I haven't finished folding. I have a sleeping Totoro together with the other character's figure which I use to hold my Apple Pencil. Then I have more Totoro and Friends plushies. If you haven't noticed yet, I super love Totoro since it's so cute. And if you guys haven't watched My Neighbor Totoro yet, then what are you guys doing? Last on this side is my computer. This computer really helped me a lot in my studies. My brother gave this to me so it has a lot of sentimental value. It was originally an all-black computer and it didn't go well with the room so I painted it white and gold. And that chair is from IKEA. On the drawers here, I store mainly art materials since I used to paint before. Here, I store pencils and pens. The next one, I have notebooks, watercolor papers, and more prints. Lastly, I have my palettes. Um, next side. On this side, I have more plants. So, let me show you guys the bookshelf first. Whenever I post my room on Reddit or other social media platforms, a lot of people comment about my bookshelf. Apparently, the way I arrange my books is a taboo. As much as I would like to see the spines of my books, most covers have dark and bright colors which had always distracted me. Since I don't read that much anymore, I thought it would be okay to just arrange the books this way. Next to the bookshelf, I have more plants and a shaggy carpet that I got from our home and a tatami cushion. Now, this was originally my reading chair but now it is my dirty chair. You guys might ask me why do I call it the dirty chair? Well, I don't really like sitting or lying on my bed with my outside clothes on because you might not know what kind of bacteria are you bringing home and you won't want to sleep on that, won't you? So yeah, when I come home, I usually try to rest a bit before I take a bath and this is where I sit. Then this is Lucky Neko, where Neko translates to cat. On this wall is a super late calendar that keeps on falling. Then next to that is a grow light that I made to look like an upside down pot. And on this corner, I have more plants and another grow light hanging from the ceiling. Then there's this tray which I used to store my teas and cups. This is a glass kettle and under that is a heat pad that can boil water. I have a double glass cup that has a coffee print on one side. Then an assorted box of tea. Under here is a coffee dripper and a few glass vials. I wanted to store dried herbs and flowers here but I always forgot to get my hands on them. At the back, I have some kind of espresso, espresso? espresso shot glass, then a milk carton glass cup, which I find really cute. In this pink container, I keep my glass straws. On the last layer, I have a wooden plate together with a wooden coaster and another drinking cup for my tea. Next is my bedside table. 
here I have a humidifier and some of my favorite essential oils. At the back is a painting that I made and a book that I've been trying to finish for months already. Then this is a controller for the air conditioning unit. In this drawer are more essential oils. So guys, here's my bed. It is a queen size bed from Furniture Republic. It is made of solid Malaysian wood. I love that it looks minimalist and sleek. But the floating shelf behind the headboard, I was the one who attached it there so that I can have more plant storage. And these are clip-on lights for my plants. On each sides of the bed, there is a fake plant hanging because for some reason, no matter what kind of plant I put there, it, keeps, it still keeps on dying. I also have string lights hanging which makes the room really cozy at night. As you can see, the wall is covered with 3D faux brick wallpaper. When I first moved into this room, it was quite blank and boring and I wanted to add an accent wall so that's what I did. I love how it adds some texture to the wall and if you guys are wondering the longevity of the wallpaper, well, I've had this one up for almost two years now and it is still holding up. Anyways, that's the bedside. Down here, I have a hand-woven abaca carpet that gives the room a bohemian vibe. I almost forgot to mention about this bed canopy which I adore so much. I used in screw hooks to attach it to the ceiling. Moving closer, I have a sleeping eye mask that says I'd rather be sleeping. On this side, I have another fake plant hanging up. Then this is a Google Wi-Fi. I have more plants down here. On top of this side table, I keep my crystals on display. I have amethyst, rose quartz, and a lavender essential oil that I like to spray on every time I feel agitated or if I can't sleep. Then a remote for the TV. Let's open this drawer. Like all of my drawers, this one is quite messy too. I store a remote for the fan, a true wireless earbuds from Sabbath. It is the Sabbath E12 and for the price, the sound quality is superb, I must say. I also keep in here some of my glasses, a relieving ointment for my joint pain, a lip balm, and some prayer books. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting and hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!